hey guys it's chicken me let me see the farm lady and you are welcome back to another amazing interesting and educative video and thank you to everyone who has you know supported the channel so far thanks for subscribing if you're yet to subscribe please smash on that subscribe button you can also follow on instagram at the farm lady on the score and then we also have a facebook page now today's video is a topic that is you know highly requested i've had people send me message on whatsapp asking this same question how do i know the quantity of feed to give my fish on a daily basis right and this is majorly from those into catfish farming so a whole lot of people don't actually know okay should i give my fish um 20 kg of feed or 10 kg of feed and all that of course we know the fcr of catfish is one ratio one which means you're going to need what a total of one kg feed to get what a body weight of one kg now having this in mind to get one kg body weight you need one kg quantity of feed so how do we now apportion this feed on a daily basis to our fish taking for example if you have a thousand fish you stocked 1000 juveniles how um how am i supposed to feed them on a daily basis right so all these are things that are you know confusing people and then they have questions and questions and questions right so in today's video we are going to be dealing with that we are going to be calculating together i'm going to be sharing a chat with you which is the standard that you can also follow and do this calculation on your farm right because at the end of the day we don't want to you know raise our fish for four months six months and then we are not getting the target weight of course people might you know have good management practice and do every other thing but then the quantity of feed that would have given them the desired weight they plan for is not you know up to what it should be right so there is a deficit and that is not what we want we want to ensure we are giving them the right quantity so that what they can grow at the very right pace right so it's far from all oh, yes there are some factors that might affect the growth of your fish but if you do not give them also the right quantity of feed then there is going to be a problem right i get people who send messages to you know a whatsapp platform we have to whatsapp platform and then they say oh i've been you know raising this fish for let's say four months and then they are not growing right they are four months old and they are just 500 grams why most of them don't actually know what the right quantity of feed to give what their fish and that is what we are going to tackle today that is what we are going to calculate today so if you want to know this every farmer needs this every farmer who is into growth production needs this like it is very key because you can't just start a business blindly without all this you know calculation without all this right so it's very very expedient that you learn how to calculate the daily feed intake of your fish so that you don't you know waste resources right because you probably are not on the farm and then you have people who are working for you and then because you don't know how to calculate they also do not know then it's more like a blind person leading a blind person right so it doesn't make any sense so we are here to correct that together do the calculation together and then you know be on our way to having that bumper harvest so stay tuned and the next slide you're going to be seeing is you know the calculation so we have a standard chart right for feed rates based on research you know experiments and results that have been proven to be valid over and over so here is the chart right you can see the temperature column you can see the you know weight column right 
so in essence this just shows us that the temperature affects what they are feeding take if you can look at the charts very well now there is an ideal temperature for raising catfish and this is 26 degree celsius to 32 degrees celsius now when you notice your fish are not eating and then the weather is cold you know oh the reason why it's like this is because why the temperature is low of course you have to be very vigilant there are times it's not just the cold weather cold weather it might be as a result of you know an infection so you just have to be very careful you have to be very observant because that is basically the bedrock of a successful catfish business so if you're able to observe right then about 90 percent of your problem is solved so when you notice the weather is cold it's automatic their feed intake is what lesser right it's reduced and the only way you can actually boost this is to you know add multivitamins to what their feed to increase appetite now on the other hand when the temperature is too high you know above 32 degrees celsius then there is going to be a huge problem because at that point the rate at which the water can hold dissolved oxygen drops right the hotter the water the less oxygen it's able to you know hold which is meant to be available for the fish okay so all these are things you have to know and then when you notice this you probably see your fish you know hanging at the surface of the water trying to you know tap air because dissolved oxygen is you know higher at the surface of the water so these are the things you're going to notice and in that situation all you need to do is you know probably use an aerator right or you do a flow through to you know dilute the temperature of the water and all that so we're not going to dive into all that today is basically how to calculate the daily feed intake so we've talked about the temperature and as you can see from the chat the higher the temperature the more the feed intake the lower the temperature the less the feed intake of your fish okay so now let's move on to how to calculate so how to calculate the daily feed intake you're going to need some factors right some values so the first one there is a b w okay a b w and this stands for the average body weight okay please don't mind my writing apologies so this stands for the average body weight okay then we have the fr fr stands for the feed rate remember i already showed you the chart for the feed rate this um, percentage this in grams okay so the feed rate is fr and then we have fp fp is the fish population the fish population so all these are what you're going to need when you need to calculate the daily feed intake now moving on to the formula the daily feed intake right dfi daily feed intake or the daily feed ratio would equals to a b w which is the average body weight multiplied by the feed rate okay multiplied by the fish population so this is basically what the formula to calculate this this is the formula to calculate this so i'm going to be giving a scenario okay i'm going to be giving a scenario so we can you know calculate together so taking for example right example she came me bought 1000 fish or 1000 fingerlings okay at 1.5 grams each calculate how much feed 
she will need or she will be giving them per day how much feed she will be giving them per day so this is an example right she can be bought 1000 fish at 1.5 grams each calculate how much feed she will be giving them per day so this is a scenario this is an example now we already have our values right so she bought 1000 fingerlings so this 1000 is the fish population can you see it 1000 and then at 1.5 grams each this 1.5 grams is the average what body weight i hope we're following now for the feed rate we'll have to go back to the chat to look at that so this is the chart again okay so according to the charts we have to follow whatever whatever values we have so the fish weight is 1.5 grams so we'll look at the charts so 1.5 falls within 1 to 10 grams up here under the fish weight um column right so it falls under 1 to 10 grams in the column and then i'm going to you know take the temperature as 28 degrees celsius 28 degrees celsius so 28 degrees celsius is the temperature so under 28 degrees celsius this falls within the range of 28 degrees to 29.9 .9 on the chart so looking at that we are going to have what a feed rate of 10 percent so our feed rate will be what 10 percent can you say that okay so now let's put in the values now dfi will be equals to what the average body weight here 1.5 grams right multiplying by the feed rate 10 percent 10 percent is also 10 over 100 then multiply by what the fish population which is what 1000 so now let's calculate okay so this equals to what 1.5 grams multiply by let's do it as um <laughs> let's do it the way we were taught in primary school so zero cancel this out and then 10 multiplied by 10 that will be what 100 so dfi will be equals to what multiply 1.5 by 100 we are going to have what 150 grams so 1000 fish will require 150 grams of fish of feed rather per day okay so this is it 150 grams per day now you can decide to split this up right because obviously they wouldn't be able to you know it's all this at once so you can either do it at what ratio 40 to 30 to 40 to 40 that means they're going to take you know 40 grams here 40 grams then 30 grams then 40 grams then 40 grams can you see that so when you add all this up together you are going to get what a total of 150 what grams so that is that you're going to get a total of 150 grams so this is how you do what you calculate the daily feed intake so in a nutshell i just want you to know that it's always good to you know calculate this daily feed intake of course there are so many other things that you have to do to ensure you get the desired results such as you know giving your fish high quality feed high quality feed it's it's you know it's you can't contend it high quality you if you're giving them low quality and the right quantity they won't still grow so everything has to what complement each other so give them high quality feed right give them the right feed size i have a very detailed video on this for you know the grow out section and then 
for those who are into hatchery so give them what the right feed size because different feed size contains different nutritional value right so when they are still very small the smaller feed size usually have a higher crude protein content and that's that so the right feed size and then giving them what the right quantity of feed which is what we are talking about today the right quantity of feed you can say you're expecting to have one kg body weight and then at the end of the production cycle you've calculated it's just 500 grams of feed you've used does it make sense and then you're not getting the result so give them what the right quantity of feed and we've already done that you now know how to calculate okay and then next up is so what feed them at the right time feed them what at the right time there is a particular time of the day that you know your fish will always eat very fast so feed them at the right time i already said it's catfish are tropical they love it when it's warm so most time it's best to feed them when the sun is up they eat better and faster during that period then also the number of times you you have to split it up that is the feeding frequency is also important you can't have you know 115 grams of feed for the day and then you just you know pour all that into the pond it's a no no your pond is going to get polluted you're going to overfeed them right so always you know put all this into con consideration fish farming is serious business and the high time we start taking it as that the better for us and then the faster we become successful in this line of business if you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you drop a comment in the comment section so for those who are going to need the chat you can send a message on whatsapp right it's not expensive it's going to be sent to you and then if you have any questions you can join our you know whatsapp groups and then meet other amazing and you know great fish farmers there so please make sure you do not miss out right don't miss out send a message join the group follow on instagram at the farm lady underscore follow the page on facebook as well and i'll see you next week Bye.